In the quiet village of Lindenwood, there was one place children tried to avoid Devil's Mouth Lake. It was believed that something dreadful lurked beneath its waters, waiting for its prey. For many villagers, the lake was merely a source of fresh water and a spot for fishing pleasure. But for Jimmy Sullivan, a diver who had his small business of cleaning the lake's bottom, it became a kind of curse. One evening, as the sun was just beginning to set, Jimmy set out on his boat toward the center of the lake. The water was calm, as if nature itself held its breath, waiting to see what would happen next. Jimmy lowered his diving equipment into the water, unaware of what awaited him. As he began to pull it back up, he felt resistance, as if something was holding it at the bottom. At first, he thought it might be some trash, but as he pulled harder, he felt his boat rocking from side to side. He was puzzled, but decided not to give up. Finally, a piercing scorch, something leapt out of the water. It was a huge, algae-covered creature with sharp teeth and eyes glowing with sinister light. Jimmy froze in horror, realizing that his equipment had hooked some kind of monster. He tried to retreat, but the monster was already too close. With a deafening roar, it jumped onto the boat, causing it to tilt to one side. Jimmy felt a wave of fear and desperation as the monster sank its sharp teeth into the wooden walls of his boat. Seconds felt like hours as Jimmy watched the monster slowly but surely tearing apart the wooden sides of his boat. In a final act of desperation, he grabbed his diving knife and began to thrust it in all directions, but his blows did no harm to the in the end, the boat beneath them collapsed, and Jimmy found himself in the water. He swam, trying to stay afloat, but the monster was faster. With his last strength, he saw the monster dragging him through the water into the darkness of its mouth, and everything went silent. The next day, when the search party found the wreckage of the boat and several bloody traces on the lake shore, no one could believe what had happened. But the children of Lindenwood, who used to play along the shore, now knew that there was something dreadful lurking in their town, hidden in the murky depths of Devil's Mouth Lake.